organization, some functionality, and we are gonna bring all of that together to inspire you to do the same in your own space. Hey, you guys. What's going on? This is R. And I'm B. And, and we, we are R&B Collective. Collective. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Today, well, today is... This is hard. Let me say this. <laughs> we are now officially in pandemic mode. And my wife will explain why this sucks. I'm just going to say lie and sit here and whimper a little bit. So on, I guess, March the 10th, I was sent home to work from home. Um, my husband, he's an essential worker, so he, he's continuing to work, but I will be working from home. Um, in 10 days, in 10 days, the NACA conference is scheduled to go on. However, at this point in time, um, they have canceled conferences, that big meetings, workshops uh, that are, uh, you know, housing more than 10 people at a time. And as I've shown you previously in the NACA video, which I will link up above and down below, um, you saw how many people were at the church at the first NECA um, meeting. And so there is no way that they are going to allow us to be able to have that many people or more. I mean, so many people are going to come out in droves to be pre-approved in one day for a house. And they're just, they they're can't, not gonna have they're you not going to know gonna, how bad this thing is going to get. Right. So <clears throat> this really affects our process in such a way because we kind of had all of our eggs in that basket right, now we're gonna have to switch up speeds and now try to maneuver, maneuver for a house our... in in a different way so instead of going with the program um a friend of mine at work a co-worker <coughs> excuse me just um purchased a home while well, she's in the midst of purchasing a home and said that her broker, her mortgage company was great. She highly recommended them. And so we are going to try to go through our um, bank and see shop around as well as hit her company up and see where we can go well, from there. Also, what you guys need to know is we have to be out of here by April 31st. We have a deadline. So. Even if NACA, I mean, we see it as a threshold yeah. with NACA, um, we have a deadline. Also, we haven't officially, we don't have a pre-approval, but we've been online shopping at houses and 227 is just not enough to accommodate the house that we're going to need. So we want you guys to pray for us because we're going <laughs> to need some more money and a different loan. Right. So those things definitely came to light when our last video, we were saying that what were our must haves? And I'll link that as well. Um, in this video, the things that we wanted that with our size of family, we would have to go to, you know, farther out than where we are right now to be able to get the home that will accommodate us that would be further out from our jobs. So a lot of things are coming into play here that are really like eye-opening, shocking. We really have to maneuver because he said April 31st, April 30th is um, the end of our lease. At this time, we know that we are cutting it very close. So we're going to speak to the landlord and see if we can do a month to month and hopefully be out of here within a couple of months. So maybe June ish, if he can allow us to go month to month for the next two months, May and June. So that's our, um, that's what, that's the first step in our plan. The second step in our plan is to contact, you know, lenders to get ourselves ready now that takes us back to NACA not needing you to be credit worthy 
Whereas now trying to go conventional or FHA, we have to be credit worthy in order to get a loan. So we enlisted our uh, the help of our good friend Al. Um, you might have seen him on our Instagram and I'll link our Instagram here. We had a great conversation with him about um, his credit expertise. Right. And, and we're going to be inviting him back onto our Instagram interview. So you guys stay tuned for that. Stay tuned because he is great. Right. And so he told us um, some things that we needed to do in order to um, work through some issues. Um, so that we can become credit worthy or <laughs> make your credit sexy. Yes, we got to get our credit sexy for our new home loan, y'all. <laughs> so um, so fast forwarding through the process, I um, took some we wrote uh, some letters at his suggestion to the credit bureau and I went to the post office and mailed them. And that's a clip that you're gonna see right now. So today is April 4th and I am out um, starting our credit journey. We are about to send these letters to um, the credit bureaus so that we can get some things removed from our credit. Um, it is still in the midst of the um, COVID-19 pandemic, so y'all be safe out there, be um, cautious, and protect yourself at all costs. And thumbs up, hoping that we'll be able to move some things off our credit. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that <laughs> short clip. Um, it was crazy out there, y'all. I had to... You know, you got to do what you got to do when you in the midst of a pandemic, but still got to get business handled and done. So, you know, mass up. Unless you don't have a house to live in. Okay. Lest your up. financial goals be dashed to the ground. Right. So you got to go ahead and, you know, go out there, put your little mask on and, and, and make it work. Make it work. Mm -hmm. So. So we did that. And then. Um, we basically. Got our we, credit. We got our credit. So where we, we needed actually to told her. So it was two twenty seven, two hundred twenty seven thousand with mm -hmm. NACA. They actually approved us for two hundred and eighty thousand dollars, but <laughs> because of the pandemic, <laughs> we were qualified and then disqualified. So what was it? Five. The score we needed was. I think it was five, five eighty, eighty or six, five eighty, and I, then it went up to like six forty. So imagine that. Our hopes. We thought we were gonna shop with NACA. We thought we were ready to shop with the FHA, and now we have to um, continue to push our credit to the six forty. So what's great is we're still enlisting the services of our good friend Al, who's not only helping us jump because there's a big jump that did happen fast forwarding also he's helping us kind of revolutionize our business as well so stay tuned to some new and exciting things so actually his credit was already there i believe and then um, it was my credit that was lacking and there were a lot of things that happened to me in a past life before i met him and um <clears throat> as far as my credit was concerned i used to be in the real estate industry and um when it cracked when the market crashed um i was um laid off from work and um i ended up losing my home and just a lot of other things um you know i was foreclosed upon and i just thought that i was never going to get my credit back up to where it was before any of this happened i was in the 700s at that time and um, with the foreclosure, not being able to pay bills, I was laid off for about almost two years. And um, it was just very hard to climb out of that hole. And so I'm very thankful and grateful because fast forward now, we're like seven years later, things are starting to come back around. And I just didn't think, I never really worked on my credit, never really tried hard for it because I thought it was over for me. But now, you know, so I mean, let's give you a, a tidbit. 
do not ever give up think that it's over for you when it comes to credit yeah you know there's somebody out there that god will place in your way yes you know yes and then that's also too like now i meet my husband <laughs> and you know i have this jacked up credit and so you know i just thank thank god for the resources that he did place in our lives to be able to help us and so we want to be able to provide that same help right, to that others same help to others mm -hmm. so everything about r &B collective and the family life budget is to pay it forward yes you know like yes. we we intend on making effect and change in family finances yes and you know we're going through the same thing right. it's not that we right. haven't done it um or that we're just talking over right. or at you right. we're talking to you because right. we've we're going through it going too through and we're hoping that what we're going through will be um able to help someone else as well right. so so that you don't run into the same pitfalls yes so that's where we're at right now we are just waiting um for things to move with our credit and then we will you know update you with our next steps as to what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, how we're going to move. Approval, approval, approval. You guys pray for us. We're mm -hmm. waiting on the approval. That's the next video. We claim it in the name of Jesus. Pull it down. <laughs> we claiming it. We claiming that God is with us. He's working right. things out. He's putting people in our lives to do right. exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. Mm -hmm. Especially now because we were able to get the pre-approval before oh, for two hundred eighty thousand right. dollars, which right. puts us in the market to be able to purchase the home that we absolutely need and not the home that we would have to squeeze people into. So, God, we see him working. Just be patient. Rock with us. See the next step in our journey. And, um, you know, stay safe during this pandemic. Yes, oh, please stay safe. And also. Just know that when it looks like it's over, it's not over. You just keep chugging away, pushing, 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 praying, keeping your faith up and allowing God to do the rest. He will work it out for you. He's able. He's able. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's the update that we have. Please hit that uh, subscribe button. We would love for you to join the R&B family. We also would love for you to ring that bell so that you don't miss any updates on this house journey or anything else that's coming your way through R&B Collective. We also want, um, want you to be able to be a part of the family so you can see how we move in our finances. So what do we always say, babe? Don't forget to stay on task and on budget. All right, until the next time, see you guys later. God bless.